Hey everyone, this is Jason Katzenbach with JohnCow.com and I'm going to walk you through the exact steps that I recommend you use for using the keyword tool Keyword Corral. And I'm going to walk you through the exact steps I use to pick the keyword you see in the title of this post that you're watching. So first of all, what you're going to do is, the, the process I'm going to show you, actually, right, let me back up, is I'm going to show you how to find keywords to write blog posts about. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out, okay, what do I want to target for keywords right now? Do you want to do something on, let's say, SEO, content creation, link building, traffic generation, anything like that. you got to at least come up with the top level keyword that you want to talk about. Now obviously I'm referring to something for John Cal, but whether it be an arthritis blog you have, a photography blog, whatever it is, there's going to be top level kind of topics that you know are going to be needed and you're going to want to write about. Now where I am, let me show you that, sorry about that, is I'm in my Google AdWords account and I click on Tools and then there's a thing called Keyword Tools. So right here you'll see I've got the tools, then you click on Keyword Tools. So then you've got two options, descriptive words or phrases and website content. I keep descriptive words and phrases plus keep the used synonyms on there and let's type that in again, Keyword Research. Now I'm going to click on the Get Keyword Ideas. Just going to take a second. Okay, now Google is going to give you a list of all the keyword research related terms they have. And you can see there's loads of them here. So you're going to simply click on Add All. So down here I add all those and you're going to see them show up over here in that first batch of Add All. So altogether, right there, Google has just given me 200 keywords that we know people have used to search. So now what we're going to do is we're going to simply scroll down over here and click on download these keywords as text. So now I'm going to open that up. You're going to see I have all these keywords in here now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter all these keywords into the Google Traffic Estimator. So I'm going to right click, going to do select all, and then copy. Go back into here, and now I'm going to go back to my tools. And down here you're going to see traffic estimator. Now in step one you enter all your keywords. I'm going to paste. Then it says currency, type to use. I keep US and I enter 100. The reason, reason why I enter 100 is because I want to know the maximum amount of traffic I can get for this keyword. Now this tool gives you Google AdWords analytical data. That means it's telling you what a, a Google AdWords ad for that keyword would get. Since $100 is the maximum you can bid per click, then it's gonna, Google's going to try to give you the maximum amount of traffic you can get. And you got to remember, search engine traffic, when it comes down to it, the organic listings always outpull the paid listings. So if you're in the top three of the organic listings, the natural search engine listings, you're going to get more traffic than the top paid listings. So now we're going to choose budget. You're just going to keep that blank. Countries and territories, I'm going to keep that there language, English. Now you can select all countries or territories or you can actually select the countries you want. So I'm going to select just the main countries that visit John Cal. And now I'm going to select continue. And what this tool is going to do now, AdWords, is it's going to tell you all the information it has for all these keywords. This is the point to where Keyword Corral comes in and starts to make life a lot easier. So what you're going to do now is you're going to download right here, it says download as CSV, you're going to click on that. And you're going to download this file to your computer. So I'm going to save that. And now that it's saved, I'm going to open it up with Keyword Corral. So now with Keyword Corral open, I'm going to simply open that source file. So when I open it, you're going to see there's a sample file that you can play around with. But I want to go to my desktop. Now you'll see here you can choose either a text file or a CSV file. I created it as a CSV, so I'll select that, go to my desktop, and I need to look for the file estimates.csv, which is right here. So I'm going to open that. Now what's nice about this is you'll notice 
where it says not enough data given for estimates, well that stuff is automatically filtered. So you don't even have to worry about that. The keywords have to have some sort of data. Now as you know, if we look at the word research for example, of course it gets you know some really good traffic and everything, but that's going to be a killer word to you know compete for. So the first thing you can do is you can go to filter and then you can keyword count there has to be at least two words in it so we'll click apply for that and so now we know that all the keywords in here have at least two keywords in the phrase and next what you can do is you can click on these different areas and you'll notice down here it says competition zero this is where we're gonna kind of this is where the I guess you could say the magic happens of helping you understand which keywords to use now depending on how many keywords you have here you can actually select all of them and click get competition but if you have over you know 20 to 30 keywords I recommend you don't do that because if you do that too many times what will happen is Google will start to get a little frustrated by you because you're repeatedly hitting their system with queries and so they might install a capture system so that you temporarily have to use enter the verification image every time you want to do a search so I recommend that you know no more than about 20 keywords but what I want to do first is filter this out a little bit so I'm gonna click on estimate clicks day lower I see there's a couple zeros and ones so let's first of all filter and I don't want anything that has less than two clicks a day now remember these are the AdWords ads clicks I guarantee you that you'll get at least ten times as many clicks if you're the number one natural search engine listing so this would be twenty clicks a day twenty visits a day but anyway we're gonna click that I'm gonna click OK so now we've only got keywords that have at least a little bit of traffic but what we're going to do is we're going to actually go through here and pick the keywords of ones that we think that you know we probably could write about so let's go through and we're going to click on here and holding your control key down you can multiple click so I'm going to look under here top keywords alright so there we have we have a few words and these are all probably pretty competitive terms but we're still gonna see so now we're gonna click on get competition and what happens now is the keyword tool is going to Google and doing what's called an all-in title search and this is telling you what the actual competition for that keyword is and I'm seeing that it's actually not that bad now you see here search keyword that's pretty high anything over a million is ridiculously high and I wouldn't waste my time even trying to bid on that trying to write content for that but to be honest everything else here 6,000 2,000 all these words are pretty good so what I will do now is click on competition and I see here in order as to which ones have the absolute least amount of competition now looking at these I want to also cross-reference the estimated clicks and you can see here they're all pretty much you know the, they all pretty much are the same except for the one that goes up to 34 but this one I'm not even worried about I'm only interested now pretty much in these right here so what I'm gonna do is pick the one that I think that I can write relate this post to the best and I'm gonna see right here that I think best keywords is probably the best one because it has the little bit most chance of getting some traction in the search engines so now you're gonna see this post title is called best keywords and the reason I picked it again is it's got some traffic I'm thinking I'll be able to get 10 to 20 hits a day unique by itself if I get a top search engine ranking because I always like to multiply these by 10 thinking that I'm gonna get the number one spot in Google especially after some promotions and my competition is actually pretty low anything under 5,000 is very doable anything under 10,000 all entitlable is doable anything over 10,000 of course is doable but it's just gonna take a lot more effort and especially when you're looking at single articles for blog posts because the amount of promotion you put into them and all that kind of stuff isn't as huge as it is as if it was say something you were creating like a pre-sales affiliate page or something like that so there you go that's how I use the keyword corral tool to find the best keywords to write about and you're gonna see the title of this post is called is using the word best keywords right away